Welcome to True City for this Panorama National League South Good Friday fixture against Hamill Hampstead Town. <laughs> fighting to ensure they either end up as champions or in six available playoff places. Today we have two crashing here at Trieu Road. True City fifth versus Hamill Hampstead sixth. Neither can really afford to drop points and if you look at current form coming into the match, you would have to go with the White Tigers to win this one. Four straight wins compared to the visitors. Recent stuttering with a draw, a win and a defeat in their last three. Tuesday they were held at home by Bath City. Today is their third game in six days. Trero's boss Lee Hodges has started with the same 11 for the last four games and injuries apart, I don't expect things to be any different today. Join us after the break for this production brought to you by Pyrrhon Films. <laughs> Lovely sunny afternoon, we were expecting rain today, but uh, at the moment, no fear of that. Hamel Hampstead attacking Connolly to uh, inside to number 11, Cole Oyedi, who was uh, fouled, so this is a uh, dangerous territory. It's uh, Parks to take this kick, dangerous area, and uh, Mikhail moving to his right and uh, look pretty close from here. Gehring is going to be pressured, but uh, how cool was that? Natura uh, forcing Hamill back. It's a cross from Thompson. Just caught the defender, I think, and uh, Laurie Walker, they're having to, for a moment, uh, struggle to get to it. Good kick in. It came up, came off two uh, Hamill players. It's, but then the flag was... Uh, up by Stuart Kane on that far side, the assistant referee. That's Sanchez Watt. Teasing Richards, using Parks. Palmer misses that one. Cross came in, but uh, Tom McHale was there. Yeah, I don't know if it had a bad bounce or whatever, Dave, but um, Ed's missed that completely, and he's let in the um, Sanchez Watt, who who was at Arsenal as a kid, mate, for a member for a lot of years. Um, played for Leeds United as well, but um, good player. <laughs> but uh, luckily, uh, Tom's, um, he's, he's guessed that he's going to obviously drill it across the area and he's he saved it well. And that's why I didn't bother looking up anything about Hamill, Hamill Hamster, because I knew my left-hand man would have all the stats, all the information. Referee had no doubt that was a good tackle and it's a throw which is quickly taken. Lee with the cross in and it's met at the far post and a look to the assistant referee but it's a goal by the number nine David Moyo. Hamel Hampstead 1-0 up. Yeah, a bit of a blow for City Dave but good goal from a, from their point of view you know it's a great ball in from Oli Yide and um, it's virtually on the line mate. You know I think uh, I think I would have scored that one now mate with me arthritis knees mate. <laughs> The wind situation, mate, I mean, it's a little bit breezy, but, you know, not really enough to affect the game, I don't think, mate. It seems to be a lot on that on City's left-hand side, but, but you know, obviously, I think they look lively down there. Left-hand side is where the goal come from. The lad, Connolly, at left-back seems to be bombing on, but they look a little bit more like it at the moment, I think, mate. Yeah, and they're attacking again. It's looking dangerous. Sanchez Watt got past Richards. Garing gets a head to it but uh, doesn't get it cleared now Connolly looks to shoot and uh, well that's almost in his uh, team coach Goering looks to take it quickly Cops made the run that's a great ball to him crosses it Riley Lowe at the far 
corner of the penalty area on the ball, but being forced back, having the comeback to Le Mans. Early ball in, Cook brings it down, and then, and that's a great equaliser. Tom Owen Evans makes it one all. Yeah, great finish, Dave. It all started off back in our own half. Um, great ball from Garin, you know, quick thinking, put Cop away in the channel. Ball's got across, I think it came to Riley Low, and his event, I think. Cody did well to hold up, eventually fell to the new lad, uh, Owen Evans, mate, yeah, from Newport. And he, he's finished it really well, you know, any striker would have been pleased with that, mate. I think he's a midfield player as well, hasn't he? So, great finish. Ben Goering, uh, I think he's waiting for Tru, someone to make a run, and Thompson just wandered across, now he's got the ball. Take it on Connolly. It does well, it comes off, and it, oh, it was uh, Owen Evans who got a toe to it. It caught a deflection as well, which uh, confused the uh, Hamill defence, but uh, I think they got away with that one. Oh, Mikhail didn't quite catch that one properly, but uh, it was uh, a little bit fortunate. It went to Ed Palmer, and now Harding loses possession. Kane is fouled, and so uh, free kick to Hamill. Wanting his players to uh, just move a little bit towards the right side of the penalty area. He knocks it to the left, surprising everyone. And that's a great goal by the number nine, David Moyo. I think Parts tricked everyone. Yeah, he did, mate. Uh, well, he, I, th I think he showed everyone the eyes, mate, didn't he? I think everyone was expecting that four post ball and he's just clipped it into this near post area and, and Moyo made a great run, mate. You, you, can, you can see why he's had a Zimbabwe cap, mate, back in 2014. But no, lovely little header over... over. I mean, great finish and, and fantastic ball. And they'll be content... Well, not content, but... Um, they want to keep it just down to the one goal difference at the moment as uh, Owen Evans heads it to Cop, gets it back off. Jordan Cop goes past two defenders and then a ball to Cop. And what a brilliant, well worked goal! Owen Evans and Cop combine once, twice, and then Cop just knocks it into the corner. Yeah, fantastic, Dave. Um, great work from Owen Evans. Um, you know, he's, he's got a goal and an assist now. Lovely cut back, and, and Cop, you know, he, he checked his run well and and great finish as well, another great finish. But to be honest, I, you know, not sure how City are level really. You know, they've they've pretty much dominated the half, haven't they? And they've gone brave with their three forwards up front. So now good, good for City. The great time to score as well. And uh, hopefully, Oji can sort it out half time, and and uh, we can hope for better in the second half. But as far as the, the score goes, mate, that's great news for City, mate. Two all, brilliant. Play someone else on. Thompson's cross, but Cook is just just stepped into an offside position. But uh, good ball in by Thompson and Cook on the end of it. That's confirmed by the uh, loudspeaker man, Ed Palmer. Ball in towards uh, Gehring. Now, now that's inside the box. Has he given a penalty or, or what? I don't think he's given a penalty, has he? Or Certainly having a few words with the, with the defender. Gary was having his shirt pulled back by, uh, I think it was Colozzi, but he's given a kick outside the box. Yeah, well, if he's given it, though, it looked a penalty to me, but if he was going to give it, but obviously we've seen something, uh, he's seen something that we ain't, but but uh, it might have started off, out, you know, they're pushing and uh, might have started off outside the box, so he's given it for the first defence, but... I thought with the new rule that the refs are meant to give the decision where it ends and not where it starts. So, interesting one. I'd like to like to see that again on Pier and Films, mate, on the highlights. Uh, he's probably missed that, I expect, but um, it's two of them on the ball. Riley Lowe, Ed Palmer. I'm going for Palmer to blast this one right through the wall like a missile. Totally wrong. It's Riley Lowe and he's over the bar. Tyler Harvey... Uh, just going through the short runs. This time, surely it's got to be Palmer to blast it. And I'll say it again, like a missile through the wall, through the keeper, into the back of the net. Here he comes. Oh, he blasted it, but it was like a missile, but it was blocked by the wall. 
And I think it could be uh, Scott Shorting who got the force of that free kick. He's uh, struggling a little bit as uh, Laurie Walker tried to take a quick free kick. In fact, he kicked it right out of the play. The cops played really well. He's put in a great shift for an hour, scored a great goal as well. So good day for him. But I think a uh, good move from Oji. Put in, I think Cookie needs some support up front. So so I think that, you know, two up front now is the right time to do it with well, just under a half hour to go. Kane inside the parks. Richards was in there, run on the back of Moyo and uh, giving him no room whatsoever or any time. Harvey's touch not the best towards Harding as uh, he was intercepted by Colozzi. And now it's uh, Oli Ide and it came off. Defender and the number 11, Carl Oli Ide, was able to continue his run and, and poke it in from close range. Yeah. <laughs> Disappointing, mate. Sit, sit here on top. In fact, it's like a mirror image of the first half, Dave. You know, where they were on top and City come back twice. I mean, City have been in the ascendancy and then they've just broke away and scored. I mean, well timed run from Oli AD. And, and Tom's unlucky. He's come out, spread himself and saved the initial effort, but it's, he's got lucky. It's bounced back to him and he's finished it off, you know, like any good striker would. So, but really a real shame because I think City were just about getting on top and, and starting to control the match so you know got to find two goals from somewhere now Thompson with a quick throw Lamont with the ball into the box keeper comes out Gehring went up now Gehring is uh, suggesting that he caught, got caught by the keeper but I think City could definitely get something out of this game without a doubt mate Owen Evans on that far side Gets the ball in. That's a great ball in under the crossbar. And oh, for a moment, it looked as if it's going to be an own goal. Cole Oliide. Riley Low with yet another corner. Moyo's there, though, to head it away. Flicked out by uh, McCall and yes. Cook. Oh, and Richards turns and volleys it and over. Yeah, it's probably dropped to the wrong player really mate Cody's done brilliant to flick it back into the danger area and, and it's, it's foul to a defender and they have a throw which they will probably take in quite a while before they actually take it no doubt using at the time Howe on the ball Hoskins shielding it from Riley Lowe but Trevor's number three doing well there to dig it out and push it forward Cook turns, but can't get away. Now, Cook was keen to take it quickly. Mikhail was coming out to take it, but Cook carried on with it. Finds Thompson. It's got to be a good ball. Goes past Parks. Got to be a great cross. Neil, and in fact, it's Tyler Harvey with the equaliser. Neil had the attempt. He didn't quite get on the end of it. Harvey was there to what to bang it in from five yards Chura back in it three all yeah, and that brilliant Dave no more than City deserved mate it all started off in, in Toro's own half um, Cody Cook great quick free kick thinking Cody's knocked it diagonal to Thompson and his pace has just took him down the line clipped in a lovely ball caused all sorts of problems and Tyler Harvey's there like we were saying a goal scorer on the pitch mate that's what you do knock it in from three yards and you got a point, mate, and you stay above MOM still.